Hello everyone. As you can see, this is Samsung Galaxy A03. The screen is completely shuttered and this is no more functional. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace it. By the way, I always suggest if you want to replace any Samsung or Android screen, go for the official original replacement pack. All right, because if you use the copy, it might be cheaper, but really poor in sensitivity and picture quality. By the way, that's the one genuine service pack that I bought around 45 pound, which says 360 by handwriting. And this is the indication of original. And also when you touch, you could feel it because this one comes with the entire housing. So first is first, if possible, try to switch off your phone and then take out the SIM tray. That's the first thing because most of the time I found many people that try to replace the screen by themselves and they try to pull out the back cover instead of removing the SIM tray first. So that's the one. Now we are safe. And I'm going to show you which tools that you need to perform this replacement. There are a few major tools that you need to use. First of all, Phillips screwdriver, flat opening tool, metal or plastic. And the good news is for this model, you don't need to use any sort of adhesive. All right. So there are the tools, as you can see, tweezer, plastic, flat opening tool, metal. So take the metal one first because this one more easier. But be careful when you use it. If you misuse it, that is going to be potential hazard for your skin. OK, because this is sharp sometimes. But I do prefer to use plastic if you are trying first time in your life. But I do use every day. So my hand is quite steady for this job. OK, so I can see the top bit is popping out. You just need to take the back cover out. OK. By the way, this sort of replacement job is not too difficult. It seems like we are doing a lot of things in there, like taking out the back cover, separating the mid frame by removing lots of screws, pulling out the motherboard, charging port, battery, you know, speaker, camera, everything. But that is an organized job. Even it looks like puzzle, but this is quite organized. And when you get things sorted one by one, the finishing comes like you never replaced any screen. It looked like a brand new phone, you know. So bear with me and try it. I would say if you want to do this replacement, and if you ask me how long it would take and if that is first time in your life, I would say that it would take about 45 minutes to get things sorted. So the back cover is almost out. There is no any home button or anything. So it's absolutely fine to pull out the back cover. Now we're going to remove the mid frame. To remove the mid frame, first you need to take out all the screws. All of them same in size. So don't worry about organizing. I do use automatic precision Phillips screwdriver. The reason is I might have to open 10 phones a day, even more or less, you know. So if I do manually, this is really hurts my fingers and I don't want to do that. But just as I said, if this is your phone and you don't do it professionally, you don't need to buy. But if you ask me how much does it cost, I would say it's about 40 to 45 pound. You can try in Amazon. Those comes with one year warranty. So if anything goes wrong, you can just replace it. All right. So when the mid frame, I mean the plastic mid cover taken out, what you need to do is first thing you need to disconnect the battery because if you leave the battery connected and if you touch any component from the motherboard or charging board, that might damage the entire phone and we don't want to let it happen. So first thing first, Disconnect the battery, then the LCD connector, then the display connector. And after that, we're going to pull out this charging board. I hope there is no any screw. I don't see anything in there. But if you find any sort of screws in there, make sure you take out the screw and pull it gently. OK, and then the motherboard also doesn't have any screw. And you can just pop this out with any sort of flat plastic opening tool. And now the second one, what you're going to do, there is a speaker plus there is a vibrator. 
which doesn't comes with the actual replacement screen so you have to pull that out okay the best thing is try to check your replacement screen plus the broken one and check what is included in there what is not if you don't find anything just pull this off from the actual main board and put it back to the new one so that's the year speaker we found now I don't see anything else except the battery now pulling out Android battery that is a kind of challenging because they use such a strong adhesive behind the battery so we know we don't want to squeeze it or pull it instead we're going to use 99.99 percent rubbing alcohol or PCB cleaner okay that can around seven pound from Amazon or from eBay you can try but I think it's almost finished so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna refill it with the 99.99 percent rubbing alcohol and leave it for minute or two and then it is gonna soften the actual adhesive and without fighting with the battery is gonna come out by itself as you can see there is no bubble there is no any dent or anything you know because this is lithium-ion battery and if you try with any sort of sharp tool that might make a leakage and that could explode which is a potential hazard and I would say when you try to perform this replacement try to have your safety goggle on okay so it's pretty much everything I can check I can check there is the volume button power button already included and pretty much that's all okay now I'm gonna install all of them back one by one so let's try with the vibrator then the ear speaker and also when you put the Wi-Fi antenna cable please make sure you put it in the gap in correct alignment so there is a tape two tapes make sure you take it out especially from the ear speaker base otherwise if you put the speaker on the top you don't be able to hear anything because there is a plastic film protector in there so I'm gonna use my tweezer and take this out should come out and I can see this is it's not existed into the old one so definitely that is a kind of part of packaging now place it in the correct way and then the motherboard all right there is another one point if you replace your screen and if you are unable to see any sort of signal make sure you do double check your Wi-Fi or network antenna cable is connected properly okay if that is loose or anything you're not going to be able to see any Wi-Fi or network signal so now we're gonna pull this film off put the battery in we're not gonna connect the battery first we're gonna connect the display connector a secondary cable connector and right next to the charging port there is display connector as well now we can put back The speaker I can see there is a little bit watermark so I'm gonna give it a clean with my brush and then I'm gonna put it back yeah that's the vibrator it came off for no reason all right I wish they provide any screws with the actual secondary bolt but there is no screws or anything so let's put all the screw back we just need to reverse back whatever we done at the beginning and then it should be fine so I'm gonna fast forward this video to make it shorter this is almost 10 minutes long and I don't think so people does have that much patience but my videos always focus to you the beginners who never done anything so that's the reason I don't want to cut or skip any part and that's why please consider the video would be a little bit longer than expected
All right, so it shows it's charging. The battery was empty because I left that phone over a month and which is positive and I found original service pack always good. So I didn't test that screen, but later on, once it's charged, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, in case if anything wrong with the replacement, there is no problem because we did not add any adhesive or any sort of glue. Okay, so I think the actual warranty is still valid and it clipped properly. Don't forget to put back your SIM tray and then give it a charge afterwards. Try it, check if the screen is working fine. If it works fine, it's fine. You know, we don't have to repeat the same job again. And if it doesn't, so it charged 3%. I think you can turn this on now. To turn on this phone, it takes about 30 to 40 seconds. And I can see the screen is absolutely fine. There is no any issues or anything. I dialed 0 to 9 and everything is fine. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.